Good day, brethren. You're welcome to RCC Junior Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by Father and Lord, the General of Asia of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboe. And I pray that you join me today. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, November 30, 2024, we are looking at the topic, O Lord, Arise. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 7, verse 6, which says, Arise, O Lord, in thy anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. Our text is taken from 2 Samuel 22, from verses 7 to 10. It says, In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did, did enter into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations of heaven moved and shook because it was wrought. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. Our text says, in our Bible reading for today, we see that when God hears the cry of one of his children and arises on behalf of that fellow, the whole earth will tremble, and the foundations of heaven will shake. This means that when God steps into a situation, his impact will be felt immediately. Do you know that it is possible for you to get God to rise on your behalf? Psalm 144 from verses 5 to 6 says, Bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot out thy arrows and destroy them. When the battle you are facing is becoming too great for you and you need urgent divine intervention, you can specifically ask God to arise and come down to the earth for your sake, and he will do so. God sits in the heavens and controls everything that happens on the earth because the earth is his footstool. However, every now and then, when his children are facing some tough battles, he prefers to arise and come down by himself to fight for them. Psalm 68 verse 1 to 2 says, Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that ate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. So here we are being told that it's very possible that the Almighty God, the Creator of the universe, the Creator of the whole earth, can arise and come down at the cry or at the behest of one of His children. When the battle you are facing, the situation or the circumstance you are going through is very difficult, it's very tough, it's very hard, and it seems as if uh, it will swallow you up. You can cry to the Almighty God as His child. Just the same way a child will cry to his father, even if the father is the president of the United States or president of another country, and that father will run to the, to the aid of his child, regardless of all the responsibilities he, he or she has. Same uh, is, it is with God. God will come running to the aid of his children. All you need to do is cry to him in your hour of need, and the Almighty God will descend upon the earth. And when it descends, the whole earth shakes, the whole earth feels its impact. Everywhere will know that God has arrived and stepped into that situation. So when you become overwhelmed and all you need is for your enemies to be scattered, cry unto God and say, O oh Lord, arise. He said in Psalms 50 verse 15 that you should call on him in the day of trouble and he will answer you. I have discovered from the scriptures and from personal experiences that whenever a genuine child of God is faced with overwhelming situations and circumstances and he or she cries to God, cries for God to arise and fight the battle, God always shows up. In 2 Kings 19, 14-19, King Hezekiah cried to the Lord when a mighty army decided to wage war against Judah. He knew that Judah did not stand any chance against the mighty Assyrian army. Therefore, he reported the matter to God. God arose for Judah, and in that same night, the angel of the Lord went into the camp of the Assyrian army and killed 185,000 soldiers. Ezekiah did not even need to raise an army to fight against the Assyrians. God took care, God took care of them himself. So, whenever we're overwhelmed, whenever it seems like we're going through a difficult situation, all we need is to cry to God. God can come down by himself and fight our battles for us. And when he does, he never loses. He always wins. And all our enemies will be scattered. So, beloved, do not despair when you are faced with seemingly impossible situations. Cry unto God and he will surely arise to deliver you. So, I want you to cast your mind. Um, think about whatever situation you are going through, whatever challenge you are going through, 
whatever opposition you are going through, something you want God to intervene in. And today, create some time to cry unto God from the bottom of your heart, asking him to step into that situation. And you see God's mighty hand move in Jesus' name. Our prayer point says, O Lord, arise and fight my battles for me. Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you because we know you care about us. Even though you are the king of the whole world, the king of the universe, the creator of all things, you are still mindful of us that you can descend in your mighty power to fight on our behalf. So, Lord, I join my faith with everyone listening to me. Lord, if there's any battle that any one of us is fighting, any situation we are going through that seems like it's going to swallow us up, that seems too much for us. Lord, we join our faith together and we ask, Lord, that you step into that situation. We ask, Lord, that you come down in your mighty power, come upon the earth, come into that situation, fight for us and grant us victory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.